Okay. All else aside, your riches won't save you, your talents won't save you, your singing won't save you, or oh, your church won't save you. Jesus, Jesus is the only one that deserves to be your anger today, that deserves to be your surrender today. Jesus is the only one worth knowing. Hallelujah. Can you pray with me, church? Can you pray with me? Can you pray that there will be a generation that rides up? Or if Nala Mora Erdne Akkate, Abhishega Tore, Adhikare Tore, Shakti Ore, Bele Tore, Rebarega Shidara, Sayati La Sveikata, Kongi Povaka, Eppuram Tarna Avanda Sangadi Iriki Nari Nala Mora, Erdne Akkane Akkate, Can you pray with me? We love Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your hope. Thank you for your serving the Lord. Thank you for helping us to serve the Lord. Thank you for coming down for us. Thank you for dying for us. Thank you for letting your rushing wind, your Holy Spirit, God, take over. God, as we pray, let your presence be with us. As we pray, let there be a generation that rides up. Oh Lord, as we pray, let our older generation rise up again. Let our young see and rise up again. Let there be a generation of praise. Let there be a generation of worship in us. Lord, have your way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
kids, I want, to, I want you to listen to me. All of us standing here has one very similar testimony. Before the Holy Spirit was on us, before we were set free in Christ, we weren't, I wasn't like this. Many, all of us weren't like this. Look to Him who can change you as we heard us say. Only the Holy Spirit can make you a good human being. Only the Holy Spirit can help you fulfill the ministry that's on you. When you sing this, let it not be a word that you sing. But a walk of life, pardon me. It's an artha mansla ki. Sandri yada. Adi complete ay sandri yada paad wana ki. Or Paulo sai tanne maru. Sing this as a prayer. Believer, pilar ko ni matra naalu ki le. Ningada jeeva tinendu to. Indine vilicho, indine matiyo, indu dhanno. Adine noki, baad. Adine mithyas karu. Varshara ravi gana varshara. Ii baad. Kundu re kar korch sam. Amar piti andu wa. Ii prayer ait. Ii baad la. Devam. Amar de alma. Number de adi ki laikyu. He's already here. Abhishek tode adhikar tode yon thala mura yon dekhte. Abhishek tode adhikar tode yon thala mura yon dekhte. Rajendra Pira Rama, Deshamre Pichu. Thank you. 
praise him, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for dear guest pastor, Lord. But Lord, we pray that you speak through him, Lord. Hallelujah. Let the word of God be so real in our life, Lord. Hallelujah. That we may dedicate our lives once again, Lord. And Lord, let your name be glorified to our life, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we submit this session completely in the mighty hand, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this uh, beautiful morning, O oh Lord. We come to your presence, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for this new session, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. We give all our children into your hands, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. They are the Lord. They, they are the ones that you've given us as an inheritance, O oh God. Hallelujah. But Lord, you are a portion and you are our inheritance, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. All our children, O oh Lord, you bring them into your hands, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. We pray that all our children be spirit filled, O oh God. Spirit led, O oh God. And children be knowing to oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Fill them with the spirit of you. God. We pray that just like we sang the song just now, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah Lord. Send them out to the nations as a call of God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Give them, uh, give them a spirit of boldness, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. A separation in your presence, oh God. Help them to understand what true holiness is, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Help them to stand separated from this world, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Root them in the word of God. Hallelujah. In this best stage of their life, oh God. Help them to totally dedicate their lives to your work, oh Lord. To your ministry, oh God. In whatever ways that you lead them, O oh God, at the end of the day, O oh Lord, we seek a perfect will in their life, O oh God. As parents, O oh Lord, help, help us not to bend down to a permissive will, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. But to be surrendered to the perfect will that God has chosen for our children's lives, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord. We know that all our children are talented in different ways, O oh God. And we believe, O oh God, and we strongly believe, O oh God. We want all our children to learn to exercise their talents, O oh God. Exercise the gifts that you have poured into their lives, O oh God. Hallelujah.
surrender it to your loving name, O oh God. Yes. We love you, O oh Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, everyone, be seated. Praise the Lord. Uh, we are pretty sure of one thing it is God's work. Amen. God is stirring our hearts for His kingdom. Praise God. And thank you for this special, uh, this special meeting that God has uh, enabled us to be here. And I request Pastor Shibu uh, to please come forward and serve the Lord of God. Thank you. Praise God. How many of you are happy this morning? If you're happy, can I have a smile? Big smile. Show all your teeth. Very good. What a joyful morning we could come together and worship the Lord really was enjoying God's presence this morning. And our, especially our children were singing. And I could feel God's really moving in our midst. The power of the Holy Spirit is our us. This morning may not be a formal meeting. Uh, I don't know what to preach, but at the same time, the Holy Spirit wants to do something greater than the mighty things among us. If you with an expectant heart, God can speak to our heart. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Very good. I don't want to give much interaction. And this morning, what I want to share with you, the same thing that uh, they were singing, and we need a fresh anointing. All are filled with the Holy Spirit. At the same time, this is a season that we cannot survive without the power of the Holy Spirit. So we need a special anointing. And a little one, older one, uh, those who can speak uh, and be give, uh, prepared to praise God and the mighty wind of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring power of the Holy Spirit. The same way the first century church heard the rushing wind, we are going to hear again in our church. Do you believe that? Amen. God bless you. Until this morning, I want to share with you a topic that, uh, as I said yesterday, a spirit-filled life and also a spirit-controlled life. Sometimes we miss that marker. We are filled with the Holy Spirit, but we want to yield ourselves or surrender ourselves to be absolutely, totally controlled by the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you say that I'm a person filled with the Holy Spirit, we need to be controlled, guided, and led by the power of the Holy Spirit. So how many of you want to be a, a Christian life? An exemplary lifestyle. Possibly this world that uh, the world will see and say, he is a true child of God. Amen. That's what God is expecting from us. That's a dream of Jesus about each and every believer. So he appointed us as his ambassador. You know what is ambassador? No, not the car ambassador back in India. I speak about the ambassadors of Christ. We are representing a heavenly kingdom on the face of the earth. So we need to reflect the divine nature of Jesus Christ. We cannot bear fruit to what the Bible demands with our own ability. So we need the power of the Holy Spirit. So I'm going to speak about a spirit-filled life at the same time as spirit-controlled life. Let us turn to the book of Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 2. Uh, it's a very uh, familiar portion. At the same time, I'm going to speak about an old man. How many of you like your grandparents? I'm speaking to the children. That's why. How many of you like your grandparents? How many children like your grandparents? Grandma, grandma, you like that? Because they cook well, no? Very good. Okay. So Luke chapter 2, verse 25 through 28. <coughs> His name is 
see me, he was an old man, always dedicated and devoted himself in the temple of God. This is the season Jesus' parents brought him to do the ritual things there. And uh, I'm going to speak about the uh, works of the Holy Spirit in the light of an old man. At the same time, it is applicable for each and every single believer. Number one, we read about that. And when Jesus uh, was brought by his parents to do the ritual thing, maybe on the eighth day in the temple, and usually they do in the olden days, the Jewish people will bring their children to pray over and dedicate, do some sacrifices and consecrate them for the glory of the Lord. The same way they brought Jesus. And the old man, he was advanced in age. I don't know how old he may be. Have you ever seen old people? How many of you have seen old people? Everybody is old. Maybe one year old, <laughs> two year old. So never say that. You know, old means we all are old. We all are old, but not too old. Are you happy? Very good. Okay. So they brought Jesus, and this old man he was advanced in age. That means about to die. We can say like that. But he had a promise from the Lord: "You will not die." Yesterday night I said you will die, but today I'm saying you will not die unless and until you see the glory of the Lord. Amen. I believe that before my eyes close, before my natural eyes close, my figure may fail, I may weak in my body, but what God has purpose for me, I will see with my own eyes before I go to the ground. Amen. How many you believe that? Amen. That's the only reason that God has left us here. That's the only reason that He is keeping us here. That's the way the Caleb said, past to 45 years, I am hung through the wilderness experience with one promise, this Hebron belongs to me. Many, those walk with me, talk with me, many who travel with me, they were buried in the wilderness. But why I am alive, even at the age of 85? With the strength and ability, God kept me alive to see the promises which He has given 45 years back. In the Pagali, we did not know that Mother Mary the Ningal, we did even not hear it. Now, we are the one who is doing it. What is this? We are not going to do it. 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 We are not going Praise for God in the pretty child, they have changed child, they he took a tatagar nalum, Ella Padigula Ayalum, Yan and Nigal of Manada in the Dinamumba, Kamada in the Namumba, Sorga made the Venture of Kamada I believe that. I believe that. Praise God. So this old man, number one, it says that to verse 25, the first thing I want to share with you is he was a man who was waiting for the consolation of the Jews, or we call it Israel. So that was his earnest desire. When old people, when we become old, what is your desire? I want to eat the best food. <coughs> Somebody, you know. So I want to prepare my graveyard. I want to have a big burial. And so people have different desire. And look at this grandpa, or we can put it. What is his desire? He was waiting for the consolation of the Israel, or praying for the comfort of the church. I can uh, interpret it in that way. So that should be our earnest desire. When you see a person, we want to see the comfort of the Holy Spirit upon them. So why it happened? He was a man, verse 25 says that Simeon, an old man, advanced in age, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Am I right? The Spirit of the Lord was upon him. Number one, this morning I want to share with you, everyone in this sanctuary be filled with the Holy Spirit. More than ever before, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. After living in this world for 70 or 80 years, accumulating all the wealth and health and helping many people and having all things in this world. If you are living in this world without the power of the Holy Spirit, your life is nothing as compared to the person who are living with the power of the Holy Spirit. So if you don't have anything, if you do have anything, but still you have the power of the Holy Spirit, you are the best person ever lived in this world. You believe that? So we need the power of the Holy Spirit. So this man was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the Bible testifies that the power of the Lord was upon him. The power of the Holy Spirit was upon him. He was a man with the Spirit of the Lord. 
That should make us different people than others. When you go to the schools and colleges, when you talk with your friends, when you're in the workplace, that should make a difference. I am a person filled with the Holy Spirit. We can talk like others talk. We can go the place others are going, but we should show the difference because we are totally, absolutely controlled and led by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So he was a man filled with the Holy Spirit. So this is the promise of God. In the book of Joel, have you ever read that? Chapter 2, verse 28, there were great promises. Joel the prophet, God said through him that in the last days, I am going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I am going to pour out my spirit upon regardless of your age and circumstances, God is going to pour out his spirit upon him. How many of you want to be, be the part of that this morning? How many of you are filled with the Holy Spirit this morning? Children. How many of you are filled with the Holy Spirit? Are you sure? How many of you are speaking in tongues? If you don't, do you have a desire for that? That's what the Malayalam song they sang. Let an anointing come upon us. The mighty wind come upon us. We want to be a Paul and conquering the nations of the nations for the kingdom of God. If, if you have a desire, as the Bible says, God will satisfy those who have a desire. If you have a desire, that's a simple need, a simple pre-request. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I am pretty sure by the end of this meeting, if you have a heart to have the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm sure the Holy Spirit is going to get hold of you, some of you. Do you believe that? It doesn't matter how old you may be, how weak you may be, how educated you may be, but it all matters the way you respond to the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So this man was filled with the Holy Spirit. The promise is there. I will pour out my spirit at the end. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. All the young man, all the little one. They shall see dreams. They shall see visions. My daughters and your daughters, your sons will prophesy. Huh? That's a great dream for every parent. My son will prophesy. My daughter will preach the word of God. Parents, do you wish that? End of, end of makkal. Hallelujah. Prophetic you. Hallelujah. That should be our dream. More than he become an engineer or a doctor or a hallelujah, qualified person. We need everything in this world. At the same time, that should be our earnest cry. Every day when you are on your knees, pour out the tears before the Lord. Lord, I want to see my son, my daughter. She should become a preacher of the word of God. She should become a prophet. Our prophetic day. Our prophetic day. Let him like a Paul. Hallelujah. More than the first century, more than 100 years back, more than 30 years back, in this wicked and perverse generation, we need Paul and Silas, we need Peter and John, we need Andrew, we need Matthew, we need people with revelation. Oh, how many of you pray this morning? Hallelujah. In this generation, in 2018, we need a group of people proclaiming the high praise of the Lord. Shamana, Raganagana, in three in three months, this year is going to be finished off. Before that, we want to see a group of people dancing in the presence of God, rejoicing in the power of the Lord, proclaiming the high praise of the Lord, the uttermost part of the world. Yes, yes. I want, I want, I want to see a generation rising up. Hallelujah. Singing and dancing and defeating the works of the darkness. Hallelujah. And everyone will be filled with the Holy Spirit. And this the promise is there. If God make a promise, He is faithful to fulfill that. He will not say lie. I'm not a, I, I won't say lie. That's why God Bible says God can do everything. Everything is possible with the Bible itself asks, is there anything too hard for the Lord? I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too? At the same time, the Bible says, I cannot deny myself. What I promised. We will change our words. We promise people when we are in friendship with people, when we go along with them, we make a lot of promise. When we are angry with them, we change. Oh, that I told them that day. We change our words. But God will never, ever change His promise. So He promised, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. It's for me. How many of you believe that? 
everyone should open your mouth and say from the very bottom of your heart, that promise for me, that's for my son, that's for my daughter, that's for our church, my daughters, my son shall prophesy, it's for me, it's for me, it's for this church. Hallelujah. It's for me. It's not for 20 years back promise. It's not a 2,000 years back promise. This is current. It's relevant for my family. It's relevant for our children. I need to be saturated and get caught with the power of the Holy Spirit. That will break every curse in every domination territorial power of this city, power of this nation, and power of this universe. Oh, Rabbi, shut it up. I need. I need, I need the power. And that's the promise of God. If God says, we need to say, yes and amen for that. If God says something, I will say, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. But we should say, yes. Hallelujah. Can you say, hello, shout an yes to God. If God says, I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh, what the church says, yes. And we believe that. Raise your voice. This morning I see the glory of the Lord is moving here. Hallelujah. Whether you know or not, it's going to shadow of water. Some of the little ones, they may not be able to speak properly. They may be naughty when sitting over here. They may be distracted. But this morning when you worship the Lord, the Holy Spirit, the glory of the Holy Spirit, 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 that is what I'm proud of. I'm proud of you. 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 Jesus promised his disciples, and also he warned them before he leaving them forever for a while. It means before his ascension to heaven. And Jesus said in Luke chapter 24, verse 49, you never leave the city, die in Jerusalem until you are clothed with the power of the Holy Spirit. Until you are power, uh, clothed with or you are covered with this dynamic, divine power from above. We need to tie in for the Holy Spirit. Never leave these premises unless you are clothed. Clothed means you are robed with that. You are covered with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yes, that should be our earnest cry this morning. I don't want to step out of my house. Every morning before you talk to some person, before you see some people face, that should be your prayer every morning. Not only for one time. Before you go to school, before you go to the workplace and your business places, you need to pray like this. I want to be clothed with the power of the Holy Spirit. We are exposing to a generation. It's really uh, practicing all sort of wickedness. So in that generation, you need to be saturated and insulated with the power of the Holy Spirit. Parishat Tharma vende yaavarana milaade. Uchi mudal peri bolu vere. Atma vende yaavarana milaade. Yenne pothai kille. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And Jesus said again in Acts chapter 1, verse 8. I don't need to read, you can see it on the screen. Jesus said, And when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, you shall receive power. Say power. Power. That means you now we the ordinary people will become extraordinary. Hallelujah. Let me add this that an ordinary student will become. Say, say after me. Are you scared? You don't really like that getting more grade in your school? You want to get more? Boys, you want to get more grades? An ordinary student will become extraordinary. 
first one was an ordinary engineer will become? Yeah. Say, what is your profession? You can say that. An ordinary mom will become? Yeah. Extraordinary mom. An ordinary pastor will become? An extraordinary, an ordinary dad will become, an ordinary doctor will become, Amen. if you are clothed with the power of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will receive power. Hallelujah. Power to minister the God, God's word in its original power and purity. Power to sing God's word through the music. God will give you strength. Hallelujah. Everything will be an extraordinary person. Why right? we call we are going to be an outstanding person. Amen. Hallelujah. Reflecting the real hallelujah power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's what we need. So we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. A group of people in First Century Church, but they did uh, almost 120 people, like a small upper room. They all gathered together and waiting eagerly for the power of the Holy Spirit, what Jesus promised Amen. on the day of the Pentecost. Hallelujah. Next chapter, we read that now. It came like a rushing wind. Amen. Hallelujah. And began to fall upon each and every one in the form of a cloven tongue. Do you know what is a cloven tongue? Uh, Praise God. And each and every one received a cloven tongue. I was meditating and praying as a preacher. What does it mean? And God revealed to me that in the book of Genesis we see a guy with a cloven tongue and defeated the mankind and sent them out of the Garden of Eden. To defeat him, the new generation, the new Pentecost, the new century church received the anointing of the Holy Spirit in the form of a cloven tongue that we call, hallelujah, speaking in thanks. Hallelujah. 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 Palm Verily, a Vishal Mutti Vetcher the Bole, Pamabam Mutti Vetcher, Davis of a Purata, Kalakata, the Jaykuan, Pularana Nahode, Adinia Vashi Ode, Adinia Save, Deva Vishal in the Indo, Vishaki Yuri Thunderu, Vijay Kalamanam, Aunt Mavindi Adigaram, Aunt Mavindi Abishanam, and the Pagan Mother, none of the work of the enemy is going to prosper against us because we are filled with the power. This year, I have decided to be speaking in tongues. Everyone, every, you may know many languages. I appreciate all the people here. They can speak Malayalam and English well. And also, you need to decide, cry that, Lord, I want to speak in tongues. Praise God. You want to decide? I ask you a question like this. Everyone really want to be speaking in tongues? Cry to the Lord. So, number one, Simeon, an old man, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. A man totally filled with the Holy Spirit. So that's your first desire. That should be our earnest cry. Lord, before I get out of the sanctuary, I want to be filled with the Holy, Holy Spirit. Number two, verse 36, we want to pray. No, can you read that again? I think you missed one word there. It was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit. So number one, he was a man filled with the Holy Spirit. One, when Atma in the Number two, he was a man with the revelation of the Holy Spirit. More than the knowledge, we need the revelation. I'm going to speak about that for a while. Children listen to very careful. You get knowledge when you go to the schools and colleges, you open your books, you get knowledge. When you open your uh, computers and when you search in the Google, you get everything, the knowledge. Now you know everything. So when we were small, we go to the school and we opened our uh, book and uh, study, we go to the library and uh, read. When I did my engineering. When I was in the final year only, they came and showed that this is computer. This will be computer. Right here. That was like a huge 72 inch. Big figure. Okay, so I didn't know about anything about the computer in the 90s when I graduated from engineering college. So I didn't know anything about that. But you children know, my son, he's just very smart. He knows everything about this technology. In this 10 inch or 5 inch screen can take you to the uttermost part of the world. You need a Holy Spirit. No? You can go everywhere. So you can search anything, anything in this world. So what I'm saying is, but the revelation is totally different from knowledge. He was a man 
and he had a revelation from the Holy Spirit. What the Holy revelation? What was the revelation he had by the Holy Spirit? What thought I said in the very beginning? Yeah. You will not die unless you see the praise God. Unless you see Christ. Christ to be a kind of the new man's boy. I said the preacher, I usually say this to uh, those who are not accepted Jesus Christ. So many of you are praying for your relatives, those who are not yet come to the saving knowledge of Christ. Then she can the Bendigal one in the Bendigal. ശക്തി <laughs> So this man had revelation from the Holy Spirit. So we need to have revelation. The Bible says where there is no revelation, the people perish. Because if there is no revelation, with the knowledge, you may have PhD, you may have uh, any post-graduation, but doesn't mean that you have the wisdom and the revelation. Praise God. But on the other side, you may not have any qualification of this world. I am not against that. We need good qualification. I encourage all the children, study well, get the best thing in your life. Whatever you do, you need to have the best. Are you with me? Amen. But at the same time, you need to have the revelation. Amen. The Bible says, what is the wisdom? What is wisdom, children? What do you mean by wisdom? How do you get the wisdom? Say, same thing, say. The fear of the Lord is the ABC or the beginning of Just the beginning, the fear of the Lord. Learn to fear the Lord. That will give you wisdom. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Wisdom means you have the ability to discern what, what is right and wrong. The moment you fear the Lord, God will pour out his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding, his discerning into your life. And you will be able to recognize between the good and bad, evil, good and evil. And when you are walking on the street, the spirit of the Lord will say you, my son, my daughter, walk in this way. Amen. When you are in the crossroads, when you are about somebody prayed this morning, not the permissive will, but the perfect will of God. And we need to be at the center of God's perfect will. ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഹിതത്തിന്റെ ഒത്ത നടുക്ക് നമ്മൾ വന്നു പെടുന്നത് വഴിതെത്തി പോകാതിരിക്കുന്നത് ആത്മാവ് നമ്മളെ ബുദ്ധി ഉപദേശിക്കുന്നത് So we need the revelation of the Holy Spirit. Parishita and Mahamadu Velipadu Vernam. Praise God. There is no revelation. The people perish in 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 1. We read that uh, in the time of Samuel. He was almost a three and a half year old, four year old boy. And there was no revelation. And the word of God was very rare. That means we get revelation of the Holy Spirit through the word of God. we get the revelation of the holy spirit through the every time you hear the word of god every time you meditate the word of god every time you delight in the word of god every time you practice the word of god you are getting revelations after revelation Amen. hallelujah so always be with an open bible doesn't mean that you go to the school with an open bible i'm saying every time you should have access to the word of god so what we need to do the bible says that uh, So how many of you want to be become the brilliant child in the school? Best to brilliant child. What do we call the first prize in the school here? On the 12th, here's the 12th grade, no? Here they, they, in America they call wild egg theory. So what do you call here? Doctor. Doctor. Are you here? Ah, go around maybe. Are you here? So how many of you want to become that? It was just for fun. It's good. So what do you need? If you want to become the top in your class, what do you need to do? No, you should know every answer for the questions. So who is preparing the question? Uh, talk to me. I am talking to the children. No one can talk to me. Who is preparing the questions? Teachers. Then how you can answer all the questions? If you know the question in advance, you can answer all the. Okay. So then read a Bible, one Bible verse, uh, Psalm 119. How many of you have a Bible? Very good. You know where is Psalm? 
in the very middle of the Bible. Okay. So very, which is the most dirty pages in the Bible. Because if you are very often uh, open and read the psalm, okay, it's easy to read because the more line space is there, it looks beautiful, we can finish it very, very, very fast. Okay. Okay, Psalm 190. How many verses are there? 176 verses are there. And 22 portions are there. Each titled with a Hebrew alphabet. Alphabet, the Gimad, the the Hoi, Vau, Sai, that, Eithau. So that's a 22 Hebrew letter. Each letter has a meaning. That meaning is the conduct of the eight verses. So 22 to 8 makes 176 verses. So each, it's a song. It's a song. Okay. In that, can you read two verses? 19 and very slowly. And whenever you read the Bible, Clearly and slowly. Always want understand, and we also want to understand. So whenever you read the Bible, read it loudly, clearly, and slowly. Can you say it again? Can you say after me? Loudly, clearly. Ask the way you shout to your mom. Okay. Ask the way you shout to your dad and your brother and sister. Scream them. Okay. The same way. So what do you need to do? Read the Bible loudly, uh, clearly. And slowly, not like that. I think the God is much better. Not like that. And uh, so, clear, loudly, clearly, and slowly. Now, somebody read loudly, clearly, and slowly. Psalm 119, verse 99 and 100. Okay. Which version you are reading? I have more inside. Yeah, same thing. I, I'm not against any version. I have my own version. I have more I have more understanding than all my teachers for your testimonies are my meditation because your word or your testimony your precept your commandments are my meditation Amen. or another word because i am reading god's word or meditating god's word i have more understanding than all my teachers you want to excel in something be a practitioner of the word of god and the one who meditate the word of God, delight in the word of God, find your joy in the word of God. Praise God. So if you meditate the word of God on a daily basis, if you delight in God's word on a daily basis, you will have more understanding than all your teachers. Are you with me? That's what I said in the very beginning. If you have the word of God in your heart, you will have more understanding than your friends. I will promise that you will have more understanding than all your math teacher. Are you with me? When you are studying the geometry, algebra, or not, maybe you will have more understanding. But maybe your toughest subject, physics or chemistry or biology or zoology, whatever may be here. So you will have more understanding than all your teachers. What do we need to do? Meditate God's word. Next verse. I have more understanding than the elders. I have more understanding than the ancients or the older. More than your dad and mom, you will have more. It is easy for us. In the middle of 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 the Okay. So here it says that you will have more understanding, more knowledge, more discerning spirit than all your ancients. And the world says that the older one have more knowledge and understanding. But if you have meditated, practice God's way, walk in the law of the Lord, you will have more understanding than all your elders, all your ancients, all your older one. Praise God. That's why the very first psalm, I thank God for beautifully arranged psalm, the how to walk, and the psalms end up with Psalm 150. It says about how to worship the Lord. Amen. Learn to walk in this world. And learn to walk in the word and finally learn how to worship the Lord. Without learning how to walk in this world, without having the word in this world, you cannot worship the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So that's why do not, what the first psalm, how it begins? Do not. We don't like that, you know. We don't like this word. Do not. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's the thing that we hate every time. Don't do that. So do not walk according to the counsel of the 
wicked. No walk in the path of the sinners. No sit in the seat of the scornful. But rather what we need to do, blessed is the man, he will meditate his word day and night. What we need to do? Meditate his word day and night. Not in the morning one verse. Day and night. We need to mug up the word of God. And in season and out of season, you need to meditate in the word of God. That's why that will keep your feet away from falling into the pit of trap of sin and enemy. That's why in Psalm 119 verse 9 says that how can a young man cleanse his ways by beating him with a big rod? How can a young man cleanse his ways? By keeping his word. Or keeping his word as his uh, lifestyle. The moment you begin to learn to live according to the word of God, when you tune your life and match with the word of God, there you will know how to live in this wicked world. Amen. Praise God. So how can an young man, every young children, how can be pure and holy in this wicked generation? But the laws are changing, everything happening against the word of God. How can we be pure and holy? We need to keep ourselves according to the word of God. Amen. We need to compare our life with the word of God, not with your friends, not with your pastor, not we need that. We need to compare our lifestyle with the word of God on a daily basis. Amen. And again, verse 11 says that, I have kept thy word in my heart that I might not sin against you. My heart is saturated. So what I'm saying, the revelation of the Holy Spirit comes through the understanding of the Word of God. The more you study the Word of God, you will have more revelation. So he got a revelation that you will not die until you see Christ. The same way God will reveal you what is right and wrong if you are filled with the Holy Spirit. When you, as I said, when you are in the crossroad, or at the, age, at the play thing, that you are going to take a decision in your life. Maybe after your twelfth grade, or about to get married. I don't know whom should I marry? Who should I marry? Where should I go? Which course I should take? Which job I should prefer? When we are the crossroad, God will give you the revelation. Even if you are the third man, you will not be able to get the third man. You will not be able to get the third man. You will not be able to get the third man. You will not be able to get the third you should have the revelation of the word of God. That will keep you away from sinning. When Joseph was a boy, he was captured. But he was sold by his brothers. And now he is in a foreign land. Away from dad and mom. Away from his brothers. Away from the law of the Lord. Away from everything. Now he is growing in the culture of Egypt. But there when the sin was trying to trap him, he found a way to run away from the people and place of sin. Hallelujah. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, if you are saturated with the word of God, if you are anointed, if you are speaking in tongues, if you are a worshiper of God, if you are rejoicing and serenity in the presence of God, where there is a sin, the place of sin, the people, those who are attracting and distracting, you will run away from that. That's why Paul advised his uh, spiritual son Timothy, abstain from every form of evil. Sagala dosha with order. Flee! That's the word that he used. Run away from the people and place of sin. Hallelujah. You need to make a decision by yourself. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot do that. And Daniel was in Babylon. Very brilliant boy. Studying in the, uh, what we call uh, military school, defense school. Three, four boys studying in the military or defense school. And the king was looking for a group of people who were going to serve him in the palace. But when the king's servant said, all kind of all sort of food. It's not because of the food, because that they offered before uh, as a sacrifice before the pagan gods. So what Daniel did was eight, chapter 1 verse 8 says that Daniel purposed in his heart. Hallelujah. It's not because he incurred with his dad and mama, send an email, text my daddy, can I go that? Can I go and watch that movie? Huh? Have you done that? Don't do that. Don't try to put, make your parents to agree with what you say. Daniel purpose in his heart. Amen. I will not defile myself touching the delicious of the king. Amen. That means he had word in his heart. 
we hear the revelation whatever comes before him and when you are interacting with your friends when you are mingling with your friends and the spirit of the lord will give you the revelation what to do and what not to do Amen. receive the revelation of the holy spirit let us go continually next uh, verse 27 so he came by the spirit he came by the spirit see he was filled with the holy spirit he had a revelation about the holy spirit and here it says that uh, he came into the temple led by the holy spirit avan aatma niyogatha devalayathi vannanu when he got up in the morning the spirit of the lord said simeon go to the church today how many of you are coming to the church by the guidance of the holy spirit that's my message today he was controlled by the holy spirit our life should be controlled by holy spirit hallelujah praise god each and every fiber of my body should be controlled by the holy spirit aatmavil neendrikkapettavarayirum he came into the otherwise would have missed that mark he was eagerly waiting for this promise maybe for 100 years simeon was praying and crying and god's promise is there i will not die until i see the christ hallelujah but that morning when he got up the spirit of the lord said go 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 to the church that is the power of the holy spirit he will guide us to the right place he will lead us to the right person he will lead us to the right make a right decision is controlled by holy spirit hallelujah hallelujah we should be controlled paul says that i am bound by holy spirit hallelujah. in acts chapter 20 verse 22 paul says now i go to jerusalem bound by spirit we know that you know we are many are possessed with the demons they are bound by and we curse we break the chain we break the curse in jesus name but here paul says that i am bound by the holy spirit Hallelujah. from the top of the head to the tip of the toe as an electric magnet make all the coils are hallel surrounded with all any iron bar the same way from hair to toe we are covered by the holy spirit Amen. we are bound by his holy spirit Amen. i will not make any decision myself because the holy spirit is upon me Amen. an unbreakable bond of the holy spirit Amen. hallelujah unchangeable unquenchable hallelujah power of the holy spirit with me so that will make me to take the right decision so i am powered by the holy spirit so our model is always jesus christ from his birth to his death and his resurrection he was led by the holy spirit Hallelujah. so now i'm going to say seven things and you will need to listen very carefully the verses so jesus how many of you know jesus who is jesus your classmate which is great easy jesus i call the little one are you, are you okay it is okay are you bored you want me to stop you want me to stop now can i go till two o'clock Okay. So Jesus is our role model. Who is our role model? Jesus. So seven things about the work of the Holy Spirit in the life of Jesus Christ. Number one, you can just project on the screen. Luke chapter one verse thirty-five. He was born by the Holy Spirit. His mom and God decided to send his son Jesus to this world of the mission of dying on the cross for the sake of the mankind. He took a woman, a virgin, called Mary. Uh, as a mother for Jesus and uh, it's here that Gabriel the angel came and told you are going to the spirit of the Lord is going to come upon you and you will be overshadowed with that power and you are going to give birth to a child that child shall be called the son of God Amen. so Jesus birth was by the Holy Spirit Jesus born by Holy Spirit the same way that's our model we call it's born again experience Hallelujah. it's not by the power of anything it's the by the power of the holy spirit where we are convicted we are sinners and we accept jesus our personal savior Amen. how many of you don't know about that salvation experience i started my ministry in early 1992 as a children minister traveling across the nation and preaching the god's word through puppet show and every children ministry so my heart is why i have a passion for the children i ask you this morning if you don't have that experience personal experience of an encounter with jesus christ this is your day 
This convention is not a uh, thing that you know we are going to attract many people. If one child accepting Jesus as his personal savior, one girl, one daughter, one child accepting Jesus, uh, and their names are going to be written in the book of life, this convention is a success. Do you believe that? Ori kunjini na beri sorghat rene da petal. Ini konversi menjadi itu. Ini bishos ini nala jangan. Alamui. Children, my little brothers and sisters, listen to me carefully. If you have not yet come to that experience of knowing Christ personally, accepting His, you might have heard about Jesus, you are singing, worshipping, you may be preaching, you are having the family prayer in the house, but if you don't have that personal encounter of tasting Christ as your Savior, and knowing that you are a sinner, and confessing you are a sinner, and coming out of every sinful nature and thoughts, and washed by the blood of Jesus, this is your day. If you are not sure, I don't want to point anyone, but I'm asking every little one, those who can speak, those who can understand what I'm saying, if you have not that, having that encounter with Jesus as your personal Savior, this is your day. Are you with me? Listen to me. Can you close your eyes for a moment, everyone? I'm not going to finish my message, but I'm giving an opportunity. If any one of you are convicted that I'm a sinner, Sinning doesn't mean that, you know, the big thing happened now. Whatever is not righteous in the eyes of the Lord, Bible says that is a sin. So, you can give your life to God this morning. More than anything else, anyone else, I want to love my Jesus. More than having anything in this world, I want my Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross. The Calvary stream is flowing so freely this morning. Jesus died on the cross died on the cross for me. He is my savior. He died for my sins. If you accept Jesus as your personal savior, if you have not come to that experience, this is your time. And if you have that conviction that I am a sinner, I need Jesus to wash my sins by his precious blood. And you are coming and confessing to the world, God's presence with an open heart saying, Jesus is my savior. If you make a decision like that this morning, as a mark of your decision, as a sign of your decision, can you raise your right hand and get prayer for Children, I see a couple of hands. If you make a decision this morning, I want to be a child of God. I want to be a child of God. God is going to bless you. Father, I thank you. From out of the mouth of babes and nursing babes, you have ordained praise. I pray for this generation. Let them have that encounter with Jesus this morning, Lord. Let their names be written in the book of life. And devil, you have no right to over their life. Hallelujah. By faith, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus upon their life, Lord. Make a wall of fire around them. You cannot, devil, enemy, Satan, you cannot enter into the ter territory. We children of God, we people of God proclaim right now in the name of Jesus, let it happen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, born by spirit. Number two, he grew by spirit. Or he grew up by spirit. Luke chapter 2, verse 40 or 0. And, and Jesus grew and became strong in spirit. Or become strong with the wisdom. He filled with the wisdom. Hallelujah. And the grace, the favor of the Lord was upon him. So he grew up in if you are born by spirit, we need to grow by spirit. Every day, we need to grow in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Not the same power 20 years back. We need to grow every day in spirit. You need to grow by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every moment, every day, every day, we need to grow in the... As you plant a tree and you water it, nourish it, and you will put all the manure to see that uh, fruit from that. The same way, we need to grow in spirit. We need to be praying, reading God's scripture, walking in the path of his uh, uh, word of God so we can grow steadily up to Christ and up to his head. Hallelujah. We need to grow in spirit. Only then we will have the grace of the Lord upon them. The child grew, filled with the wisdom and become strong in spirit. The favor of the Lord was upon him. If you are growing up in spirit, the unusual favor or I call grace of the Lord be upon you. 
ആത്മാവിൽ ജീവിക്കുന്നവർ മേൽ അസാധാരണ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ കൃപയുണ്ടാകും ആത്മാവിനെ അനുസരിച്ച് ജീവിച്ചാൽ അസാധാരണ ദൈവത്തിൻ്റെ ദയ നിങ്ങൾ കാണും പോകുന്നിടത്തല്ല അൺയൂഷ്വൽ അൺയൂഷ്വൽ ഹലി മോസി ഓഫ് ദ ലോഡ് വിൽ ബി ദയർ when you stand before the people when you talk with the people when you go for an interview when you are interacting with your uh, boss or where may be god will give you the right to word to speak hallelujah hallelujah paul and peter also what we sorry uh, peter and matthew and andrew all were uneducated but jesus promised in matthew chapter 5 don't worry when you are dragged by the officials to the synagogue and to the civil courts don't be stumbling with anything i will give the right to word in your mouth to speak ningale nayadhipa samugathilakka kondu pokkul parishuddhaatmavu parayanna thannu ningale adarathile theru we can see that happened in the book of acts and when they were caught and they were presented before the sanedhiri that judicial court and the way they were speaking the people are an astonished and they said that they are ordinary people having no education അവരുടെ സംസാരം കണ്ടിട്ട് പറയും ഇവർ പഠിപ്പില്ലാത്തവരും സാമാന്യരും പക്ഷേ അവർ നല്ല കാര്യങ്ങളില്ല പറയുന്നത് chapter 4 was one he is being filled with the holy spirit born by spirit grew up by spirit now he is filled filled means immersed by the holy spirit that we can see in matthew chapter 3 verse 16 jesus took water baptism when he came out of the water the holy spirit in the form of the dove came and rushed upon him so he was totally immersed by the holy spirit hallelujah see now he has said that being filled with the holy spirit and again number 4 he was led by the holy spirit into the wilderness Amen. see if you are filled with the holy spirit every steps of a righteous man they are ordered of god he will go this way that way by holy spirit he was led into the holy and the wilderness marubhumile ka aatma avan endi edu nadathiyan are you walking in the spirit are you walking in the spirit are you talking in the spirit everything we do by the guidance of the holy spirit that's what i'm going to say on the pastor controlled by holy spirit and why did the holy spirit let him into the wilderness why did he lead him into the wilderness to be tempted by the satan how many of you know about the temptation of jesus christ that the devil brought and that ke parishon la yesu ne mumbaga pishaji kondu vandu how he ever tempted how we ever tempted all holy people here saying i think i am in the heaven now oh, no 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 first try here so how we ever tempted yes we all are tempted jesus proved that we can conquer we can overcome every temptation if we are filled with the holy spirit Amen. temptation is not a sin moham varunathu oru chinda varunathu bhavam alla the moment every time thousands and thousands of temptation and thoughts will flash through our mind but the moment if we yield to that they are become it sin chinda vandu pogum pakshe chindakke vidayappetta the moment we begin to pamper that thoughts and start committing there the sin starts moham garbham derichu bhavate prasavikkunu na parayunnathu appo nokkanam alle maranam anadu appo yesu parikshikkapettu so now we are going to he was led by the holy spirit for the temptation if you are led by the holy spirit or i we are led by the holy spirit to be uh, tested by anything you will come out without any mark in your life oru poorl poru illa kodathu so what are the three temptation tell me what are the three temptations yeah give what are the three temptation that uh, satan brought me for jesus he was in fasting for 40 days he didn't eat anything not like us fasting means he didn't eat anything on those days how many days have you ever take fasting children boys have you ever take fasting how many days one day skipping one meal because my daddy didn't give it to me mummy didn't give it to me it's like that okay so I'm forget about it i'm not going to say that okay so jesus was taking fasting for 40 days 40 days and night so they will came they will came and said what was the first temptation you are the son of god see that is the first challenge unless you are filled with the holy spirit 
there will be doubt. The first challenge, if you are the son of, I'm not speaking about the carrying the stone in the bread, the first challenge, the devil, the world will challenge your relation with Jesus. That's the greatest challenge ever I face in my life. Every moment, every day, every hour, the devil is challenging. Are you a child of God? How do you know that I'm a child of God? How do you know that I'm a child of God? Brothers, sisters,